हाय हल गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज शेखर थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज शेयर एंड लेट अस डिस्कस टुडे टॉपिक ऑन ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस ओके सो हियर ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस इट्स अ न्यू फीचर इन ओरेकल फ्यूजन in uh, ebs there is no orchestration process orchestration process nothing but uh, so we can compare with the workflow which is there in uh, ebs okay so uh, here orchestration process is a new feature and uh, here we can uh, write uh, our custom flow which is uh, they provided by using which is they provided uh, some options a task and uh, oh, many features are there and here uh, by default they will give some uh, some default seeded uh, orchestration processes and let us uh, how we can create uh, and uh, how we can use this one and uh, let us uh, go and demonstrate so for that uh, let us go set up and maintenance or we click on the user If you click user, then click on the setup and maintenance. <coughs> Sorry. And here on task list, click on search. And here, let us search for orchestration manage orchestration orchestration definition. here manage orchestration process definition click on that here if you have any existing thing then we can uh, able to search otherwise we can create new one so here in this process okay let us uh, create new one or uh, click on the uh, the action or uh, create or or else we can create a uh, I mean, now we can click on create I means plus symbol. Yeah. See here uh, by default the custom do underscore it will come means it's a custom process. If it's a seeded processes, we won't get any uh, custom do. it will start do if it's a uh, order management re related process there are uh, many uh, I mean uh, we have other processes also we will discuss that okay here uh, let me uh, i am creating cs standard process what is that cs standard process same uh, i am copying here and uh, what is the display name i am also copying here <coughs> and uh, here let me save somewhere yes <coughs> okay here there are uh, uh, some statuses the status is a new and there are uh, some check boxes of uh, if you enable this check boxes by using those uh, attributes we are able to control this uh, process or i mean if this process will follow by using that attributes also attribute changes and all and here there is a someone uh, some, some column is the cost cost of change rule uh, rule i mean so it's uh, let's say once the uh, process is started then uh, if we change anything that order or anything if you want to charge something then we can use i mean we can write the some conditions here that is the obr oracle business rule by using obr rule we can write here so if you click here there are uh, I mean, it will come attributes okay we will see and uh, let's see by using that some attributes and we can uh, write Okay, we will see, and that one and process classes. 
this process classes is uh, what are the process steps or what are the process uh, existing okay let me uh, i will let you know uh, let us select one process here uh, i'm selecting this here uh, submit order class not that one it is the ship order letter yes i'm selecting drop shipment and back to back order classes okay i will uh, come to again this uh, process class uh, why, why what is the use of this process class and uh, where we can use that one I mean why it's need to use okay so and here set and this process uh, it will belongs to any only particular business unit or it will it needs to use in all uh, so there are a business set of business units uh, they will make in one group and uh, we are assigning this process to that group either uh, let's say we have the four groups x y z and k okay let's say x y is the one group and z k is the one group they we mentioned is the one group then if you want to use this process only uh, x y group then uh, we can assign the here x y group like that uh, if you want all all also it's there so for that it's a common set to be there common set yeah common set means it's used for it, it i mean this process can use in all business units okay and for that we need again i mean let us uh, steps what are the steps we need just this process i'm defining only uh, what are those i'm going to define scheduling reservation and shipment just standard flow i am going and in further videos uh, i will give uh, <clears throat> in, in different kind of steps i will involve and uh, i will uh, mention that uh, what is the pass i mean pass how what is the use of the pass and how we can uh, use that pass rule and uh, in pro while defining the orchestration process uh, those all those things i can uh, demonstrate in coming further videos okay and uh, invoice so this just uh, this three uh, this four steps i'm going to create okay so let us come here let's go steps then create add row action add row yes scheduling schedule this is the service type service conditional either when some conditional merge and sub process and parallel they are there this is the service we can call service and uh, task type there are uh, some scheduled task and uh, I, we can uh, create our own task and we can assign uh, the task to some uh, routing rule while uh, in further video in routing rule i can uh, oh, i mean demonstrate uh, in next video that uh, routing rule my video in next will come is the routing rule i mean external routing rule task see do scheduling scheduling and uh, service either we are creating this scheduling or we this process for creating scheduling or we are using this process for cancel scheduling or we can use this process for update scheduling that is we are creating we are using this create okay then here update services update scheduling for update this one if we can uh, I mean uh, will you uh, I mean now uh, if you want to uh, allow this step to update this step then we need to we, we should give this update service we should select this update service 
and if you want to allow I mean allow to cancel this step then we need we need to select the cancel service as a cancel schedule okay and uh, many types of the just um, I'm uh, touching only uh, what are the important uh, attributes in uh, this process while defining process that one only I'm going to touch I'm not touching all those okay then after that scheduling just a reservation so how we reserve okay these are also surveys Select create reservation. Here, also for the same uh, for updating uh, reservation, we should select update service here. for cancel if you want to cancel any uh, service then we need to select. and after that I'm going to select sh shipment create ship shipment If it's a back-to-back, back-to-back uh, back -to -back shipment, it's a different task. So it's a just we are doing this normal shipment here. We are selecting, we are creating the process for the normal shipment. Ship. So create. Here, just create shipment means it will uh, oh, it will or oh, we can see uh, the records order records I mean order order information in a shipment okay so once the shipment it reaches the shipment it should wait for until the shipment happened right so for that <coughs> here we need to write as a wait step okay <coughs> for create wait for shipment so service this is also service this is shipment this one also shipment one and a task here this also save do shipping here services wait for shipment right and until what time we need to ship until some task right what is the exit criteria here we can we should select that one is when is shipped why means when shipped done then it will come out from the shipment task shipment step okay yes now again <coughs> let's go invoice create billing
it's invoice right after shipping we are going to create invoice here create billing lines Now, in the same way, how we wait for the shipment, then here also we can able to, oh, we need to write the wait step for the invoice. Otherwise, while I mean, uh, while validating this rule, it will come. I mean, it will uh, throw error. Definitely, it will throw error. Wait for bill. Bill. Billing service invoice here do invoice so wait for in billing. So until build y, there is attribute exit criteria we need to select for wait step any wait step we need to select that exit criteria and after that what is the completion I mean either the it will end right this what is the end step for that further we need to select fulfillment completion step we need to enable this one otherwise it will uh, throw error while validating this while validating this orchestration process so okay let us save any how for the set to okay just we write we wrote only steps okay what are the status conditions in uh, which stage and which status needs to come and in order header in in orders as well as in orchestration steps a process so let us go click on that status condition tab in process details uh, region click on that process so here again status condition there are two tabs here orchestration process status values and uh, fulfillment line status values orchestration process status values uh, which is used uh, this values in the orchestration process after creating the order if you go actions uh, in header or actions and uh, switch fulfillment lines the in switch fulfillment lines there is a, a fulfillment line if you go fulfillment line tab after the fulfillment line tab then if you click that fulfillment line if you open that orchestration process there are some st steps right there are some statuses what are those statuses uh, so it will come those statuses from this one I will see again uh, after defining this one and this statuses value uh, we will get the LOVs so that LOVs it will come from the process classes this process classes while defining that process classes they will define this all status values here just we need to select and uh, among those LOVs I mean a list of values let's create okay here yes this LOVs come from it will come from the process classes which process class you are you are going you are selecting from that process class only that LOVs will come so here what is the first step our step is the scheduling right that scheduling is let's say scheduled select schedule so for that schedule <coughs> we need to select the expression see please observe the here 
there is a uh, bit confusion here also to select this expressions and all i mean uh, while selecting uh, if you wrong also it will go in first after click that expression select this uh, dual uh, task step in a task okay then click on insert into expression after that put cursor in the text right in expression text here then in down then we need to select operators here operators get equal select that one and click insert into expression right so after that select cursor there i mean in expression uh, text box then go task expand this custom to underscore cs uh, schedule task here here right scheduled status we need right then click on insert into expression please uh, observe this one very carefully if you do or if you write the text and all the manually there is a possibility to oh, throw out error uh, getting error because it's a uh, seeded i mean because it should select from the elbow view only if anything some space or something uh, it's a codes inverted codes right that codes so if anything wrong then it will throw error so then click on okay <coughs> okay next what is that reservation select sequence as 200 and uh, sorry it's some other word is reserved or something yes it is reserved next step is reserved right so for reservation also we need to select the expression Here reservation the same way select the dot expression is the reservation then click on into expression then put cursor in text box expression text box then cursor then come to operators select equal equal to then put enter into insert into express then go task expand the reservation select the reserve cursor there then go okay there is a reservation next What is that shipping or ship would I think so let us select awaiting shipping so we need awaiting shipping right so awaiting shipping <coughs> Select steps here. Select shift insert operator. Then task. Expand. Then click here. Click away. In uh, select the waiting shipping. Then uh, what is that? What is we need? Shipped. What the status need? Ship. So ship. Then uh, expression is again okay, ship only. We need to select ship. 
then operator equal quotas in there is a task is a shape right select that shape inside come okay then what is the after that <coughs> awaiting billing awaiting billing let's select <coughs> invoice right okay let's say once anyhow yeah yes after that <coughs> this status values will come in orchestration steps in order what are the steps so we, it will show the steps next what is the fulfillment line view status it means line status what are the line status we need for that just click on that fulfillment line status value in status condition there is one more uh, tab right one is the orchestration process status values and uh, one more is the fulfillment line status values here we need to we can uh, select the existing or we can create new one also so here we need status rule set let's click on rule set then create new one just i am giving the name cs std set cs std status rule set create new not i am not copying any existing i am creating new save and close it will pop up the another window yes, sorry here this status rule set if you want to edit us so nothing we defined any status values right it is a new one right so we can create I mean we can edit that one means we can uh, add some status values so click on edit status rule set it will pop up uh, another window so this as of now what we did we did right so do you want saved or not like that it's asking yes so we need to save right yes save. here this conditions it will come click on special plus symbol 100 what is the status value we need schedule sorry okay let us uh, see what are those values this rule set conditions also from the uh, it will come i will let i will you know i will give the list of uh, prerequisites what are this but in uh, uh, while defining in project also they will give i mean uh, some set of uh, 
seeded ones so we can use that one i think so. i don't think so we required uh, more than that if you need the custom uh, status values we can uh, define uh, like manage uh, status uh, manage conditions uh, like that we can search and we can i will give the list of thing okay so click on expression same see schedule same thing Expand that result. Is that result? Okay. Next, awaiting ship, right? seems okay that's why it's okay click on expression Expand that ship. is built Thank you. 
save and close yes now done right let us save yes we save so now let us validate our process is correct or not it will validate our steps on all everything is correct or c this is a validation so done now after the again uh, go click on action then release means it will freeze all things yes we need to, if you want we can download or otherwise it will it be okay yes release <coughs> sorry then now deploy the process we need to deploy the process so password sorry not this one Is the password yes yes then this application password is the same application password is here also we need to enter what is i sorry environment pass, uh, password well login environment right we are giving one slide for deployed successfully deployed okay let us uh, <coughs> see if we define process how we link up with while creating order how we it will pick up there is already i told in our last video that is the process assignment rule by using process assignment rule we can uh, assign this process uh, to that order on particular attributes if we select on particular attribute it will assign that process so for that uh, let me go that here okay one second Okay, save and close here. Cancel. What is that? Manage assignment. Sorry, spell mistake. Manage orchestration process assignment rule for sales order. Here, manage orchestration process. It will come is a OBR uh, thing. Here, it's, it will come VIB. So let us select this one. If you see, uh, in, if you subscribe and if you see uh, in my channel uh, another video, I make made it for uh, how we can uh, assign the process uh, process assignment. Okay. So well, let me create new one for assigning the, my process. So here, uh, let me write uh, some name. I'm writing a CS something. CS D process. Okay. Then click here condition. If let's say order type order type on header. What are the order types we have? So this order type. Regarding this order type, also I I made it's a video. If you can see, uh, if you search, uh, I mean, uh, in, if you subscribe my channel and if you see, then uh, you will able to go see. So for, unfortunately, this uh, environment uh, it's a refreshed, so nothing is there which I defined earlier. So those are the deleted actually. So okay, we can write on any attribute. Let's say order quantity.
just a simple ordered quantity if what's the order quantity is let's say 120 okay just simple if we have any uh, transaction type then otherwise let me see your uh, line type is there or if you have line type values Lined up is equal to by then uh, let's just example I'm test giving okay uh, we can use anything otherwise let me element is there anything movie return credit uh, ship put uh, sell build only like that is there so okay anyhow I'm selecting this build only okay sorry by line type is if it's a by then it or process would then do come to in last video oh, on line type also i discussed in uh, video so process name what is that process name cs is that and we say what I let me copy here search we got right then click on OK here if line type is a uh, by then uh, it's pick that process name is custom to CSS DD process which is we defined save so where is the where is our process we define right yes here so active this one after that or it can put the highest it's a priority if it is the same rule if someone is use that attribute and write some rule so which one it should pick right is the same rule right so highest so save and close we activate and save and, and we need to publish this yes need to publish successfully published okay let us create a order We will see how our process is working. Go order management. Here, click on create order. Select business unit. one basis I'm selecting here I'm selecting customer computer service and rental here right we try to select the order type right nothing is there here see no values are there here will be here if we have one we can use it that by using this attribute right if we don't have right so is uh, 95001 I'm selecting this item let me select the quantity then add it here if you see uh, line tab in line level right uh, so you can see yeah here line type right so e line tab is by this by right so now we it's pick the our process it should pick our process let me give this uh, warehouse from where from which warehouse oh, order quantity 
need to speak sorry so now submit right in process so if let's see which process it's the same to or order so let's go actions and header then click on uh, switch to fulfillment view in fulfillment view click on fulfillment line orchestration process number is generated right and here orchestration process name is custom do csd process and here if you click that process name orchestration process number then it will come what are the steps so what are the steps we defined the orchestration process so schedule reserve and ship and invoice right so now scheduled only refresh yes reserve and it will go awaiting shipping i think after that see reserve this status is, uh, it will come from uh, where we define right status definition in our while defining orchestration process see how uh, let me open that me open that task session process then if i open me now if i can uh, explain then it will be easy for you to understand start so, the list definition then process definition what is the our uh, i guess our process let us query for process let me edit, click on edit then click on status conditions here right here we are selecting uh, we selected right that process uh, what is the status values so this status values in if you read it here then we have uh, yes we have the status values here right this status values will come here this fulfillment value. so okay refresh so awaiting shipping means we need to do next shipping let me do let me know somewhere this order number okay. now got it right so here sorry
そうcycle and a different type of uh, orders so like the proship or back to back order the mandatory setups for that and i will do just i'm concentrating on a uh, unique unique topics i i would like to do that one that's why i'm i'm preparing the this videos on unique topics okay. so which is useful for all uh, which right that's it. so go actions do pick release to do pick release then successfully Done. then see after uh, sometimes automatically it will create shipment yes shipment right click on the shipment uh, number here so here need to give ship quantity right then click on confirm then confirm so ship confirm right Locate ready is entity delivery line UIM more collapse shipment should confirm. What is this means? Let me see. Yes, it's already interfaced. So something else actually I don't know is a system prop system error that one it looks like. Here, we give the wait after a waiting shipping. We give the status as ship. Then it will go automatically awaiting billing. Yes, waiting billing. Now, what we need to do? So we need to run auto invoice. Then it will create invoice. finance only we have that uh, access so 
go tools and uh, schedule processes here click on schedule new processes import import auto invoice Okay. Business unit is US one. Business unit. So the contract infrastructure. Let it be ready for that. What is the order? So our order number. We need to sell order. We need to sell it. Then we can submit. success now <coughs> let's refresh that one it will come build after that it will close this much time is taking me you know. should be build and close So guys uh, might be uh, that is uh, it will take time to process that one it, it is the uh, integration right in between uh, finance and uh, this is the OEM so might be it will take time okay so this is a process how we can uh, we discuss the how we can create the orchestration process and uh, how we can assign the process assignment here and we demonstrated the what is the cycle also with that by using that process okay so please uh, subscribe and uh, if you like this video please share and if you need any video on any particular topic uh, especially in uh, oracle fusion om 
so please uh, put a comment on below then uh, i will try to make it that video and i will share with you and please encourage me and all the best thank you